it's Shai Sarai and welcome to a food vlog. I really like experimenting with my diet and different foods so at the beginning of May I decided to try out the alkaline vegan way of eating. Um, I'll link to the nutritional guide below. It's just like a free pdf from the Dr. Sebi website with the allowed vegetables, fruits, herbal teas, grains, nuts, oils, and seasonings. I drank the recommended gallon of natural spring water each day, and I had coffee, which is not part of the official plan, but yeah, I, I had it anyway. <laughs> so I did a grocery shop where I bought fonio, grapeseed oil, butternut squash, watermelon, peppers, uh, some to-go containers for meal prep, kale, basil, mushrooms, blueberries, and tomatoes. I also got three gallons of water and four jugs of coffee. I portioned out four days of breakfast and four days of dinner. So on those days, I had coffee, watermelon and blueberries, sometimes with basil because I'm weird, <laughs> and I just rinse the vegetables, saute them in grapeseed oil, and there you go, butternut squash, kale, and mushroom stir fry. And as for the other three days, I did another grocery shop, for cucumber, avocado, mango, and seaweed, as well as watermelon, cantaloupe, and apple, more water, and of course, more water. So breakfast was apples and blueberries, or just watermelon and cantaloupe. And dinner was a few of the items that I bought on the previous trip. I cooked the fonio like rice, and just stir fried the tomatoes and bell pepper. And yeah, that was it. Um, I kept it nice and simple. I really didn't have the desire nor the time to plan and execute a bunch of different meals. And even though I didn't get the full experience because I had coffee, the alkaline way of eating was actually really enjoyable overall. I felt great, plenty of energy, no sleep issues. The food was tasty and filling. And since I had to know what was in my meals, you know, all the way down to the specific oils and seasonings in the Dr. Savy guide, I ate at home, which saved a lot of money, and I also lost weight. As far as cons, well, drinking the gallon of spring water really sucked. It just felt like a chore, and sometimes I'd forget, and I'd have to try to chug it, and of course, I was just in the bathroom all day long. The other con was the heavy restrictions. Like, sure, maybe it's best to not eat out so much and cut down on alcohol and double cheeseburgers, but there's also no broccoli, no kiwi, no pistachios. Um, that being said, number one, there are alkaline foods that are not in the Dr. Savy guide. I just decided to make it extra hard on myself for some reason. And number two, were the healthy foods really what I was missing? <laughs> Anyways, I hope you enjoyed this food vlog slash experiment. If you want to know more about the alkaline diet as something to do long term or just every now and then for variety, definitely check out Brandon Ahmad here on YouTube. And thank you so much for watching. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe, and I will talk to you soon, okay?